In this video, I'm going to reveal what is the only high yield savings account I use and how you can take advantage of the best interest rates right now without spending hours shopping for the best account. In the past year, bank rates have been rising steadily from the zero of the past decade to four, five, even to 6%, depending on the countries. This means that while in the past, the savings accounts were basically irrelevant, they now become a very important and popular choice when it comes to investing your money. A lot of content has been published on how to choose the best account, which with leading table changing every week, telling you about the new savings account offering the best rate. People have started to frantically open and close savings account in the best of getting the absolute best rate on the market. I think this is absolutely crazy and counterproductive because it makes people focus on the wrong thing, which is shopping for the best savings rate, as opposed to building the muscle of saving and investing and creating a system that automatically builds wealth for you. So the approach I've decided to use is instead focus on one single high yield savings account and instead saving my time and energy to try and save and invest as much as possible by setting up an automated system that works for me. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Erica and on this channel I talk about how to build wealth with as little effort as possible. I've got a degree in business and economics and I've spent five years working at a leading investment firm in the city of London. When I was working there, I was surrounded by people that talked all day about investing, about saving about building wealth and now I want to share back with you and with everyone here on this channel what are the secrets that make rich people rich. Okay, now it's time to reveal what is the account that I use? Drum roll. So the account I use is called Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And so far, I've been extremely happy with them. Let me now explain why exactly have I chosen them. First of all, they offer an instant cash high yield saving account, meaning I can put in and take out money whenever I want and whenever I need it. I'm personally looking to buy a property uh, at some point in the future. So I don't want to keep my money there for a very, very long time. And I want to make sure that it's ready to go uh, as soon as I need it. Second, the thing that I've really appreciated is that they are very transparent with the rate that they're offering. And as the interest rates rise in the economy, they rise them as well. They've been sending me emails say, hey, the new Bank of England interest rate has gone up. So we have increased our interest rate as well. And we are offering you a better rate. As soon as there is a better rate on the market, they raise their interest rate too. And yes, they may not be the ones offering the best rate. And actually, if you look at their rate right now, it's probably lower compared to the you know leading table of the best savings account offering the best rate. But overall, I like the fact that they keep everything up to date and I don't have to worry about whether I'm actually getting a good deal because they're doing that work for me. Third, the reason why I chose it is because it's a very solid institution. Goldman Sachs is a world leading uh, investment bank. They've been around for a long time and I really trust them as an institution. One caveat here is that it doesn't ma matter how solid the institution is, reminder of the 2008 uh, Lehman Brothers crash, you need to make sure that the institution you're choosing is FCSC insured. This means that effectively, if the bank were to go bust, the government will have a protection up until a certain amount of money. Some countries 100K, in other countries 85K, whatever there is, you need to make sure that you have that protection. And ideally, do not keep more than that amount in a single financial financial institution. Fourth, the thing I like about Marcus is that they have a very intuitive app. It's really no frills. The only thing is they're really showing you how much money you've got in, what is the interest rate and how your money has grown. There is really nothing more like no fancy graphs, just a bar graph that goes up uh, and you can see how much money you have. The fourth thing that I like is that they're paying interest monthly. And personally, this is for me a little bit of a way of tricking my mind with a quick win. I can see every month how much interest I've been paid based on my saving and this gives me a little bit of an adrenaline rush to know that I'm on the right track. A couple of considerations before we end the video. First of all, if you haven't maximized your ISA allowance, you should probably do that first before you look into putting money into a non-tax-free savings account. In my case, I've already maximized my ISA, so there's no more tax-free that I can get. So I have put all the rest of my savings into a high yield savings rate because the rates are really good. And even if I go above the allowance, the government allowance, and I have to pay taxes on it, that's still really good because the, the rates are quite high at the moment. Second of all, make sure you have automatic transfers. So what I do is that every single month, I have a direct debit from my current account, 
account that goes straight into my savings account where every single month I move a specific amount from one to the other automatically. I don't have to do it consciously. Normally this happens after my wage is paid so I know I have enough money into my bank account. This also makes sure you're saving automatically. Of course one thing I would say is that you need to know what you can save so my suggestion would be if you don't know how much you can save start from a very very low amount but still do it automatically and then little by little as the months go by and you start understanding how much you're spending and how much you can save then you can start ramping up that amount but still make sure it's automatic this doesn't have to be a conscious choice and you'll see that you'll be able to save much more by doing that if you enjoyed this video i highly recommend watching my video on how i invested my first 1000 pound with zero effort using nutmeg investments thank you for watching this episode and i will see you in the next one bye bye